Off the top at six tonight, a mother's emotional plea. Her son was left paralyzed after a police shooting that was caught on camera. Donald Armstrong was shot in the street during a standoff with Miami police. And now his family has hired civil rights attorney Benjamin Crump. Let's get right to Local 10's Laren Livingston live in Miami with our top story. Laren. Donald Armstrong's legal team, as you mentioned there, now includes Ben Crump, and they say all of this could have been avoided if the right mental health resources were deployed to what was a mental health crisis, they're calling it. And they say the only person who should be criminally charged in this case is the officer who fired on Armstrong. It's shocking. It's deplorable. It's horrific. It is what you would teach officers if you wanted to show them what not to do. Civil attorney Ben Crump now represents 47-year-old Donald Armstrong, who Crump says is paralyzed following this encounter with Miami police. It was caught on camera. It seems like the person who should be under criminal investigation is the officer who shot an unarmed man unjustifiably. Multiple officers responded to Armstrong's Northwest 7th Court home back in March. They deployed tasers. Police say he refused to comply, even tried removing the prongs. They tased him again. He fell to the ground. One officer starts shooting. The Miami police chief has said he will ensure the department does better addressing calls involving mental and behavioral issues. The sole basis of uh, filing allegations of aggravated assault is, was to cover up for the reckless conduct exhibited by one officer that was present, one officer. Armstrong is now in a jail medical facility, unable to walk, according to his lawyers. They're calling for the aggravated assault charges against him to be dropped. But I need y'all to just pray for him, please. Do that for me, please, Lord, please. And again, Armstrong has now been booked into jail. He's still in that jail medical facility. His case, so that he can be formally arraigned, is scheduled to be back before a judge on Thursday. In the meantime, FDLE is continuing to investigate this shooting. And we spoke to and reached out to the prosecutor's office. And they say any potential criminal charges against the officer involved in this would only come once that FDLE investigation comes to an end. The officer involved in this, we're told, is now on administrative duty off of the streets. We're live here in Miami, Larry Livingston, Local 10 News. Larry, thank